hello guys in this video i am going to cover the basics of pandas and numpy so the pandas and numpy are the libraries or python you can install it using the package manager like etc and pip once you install it you can import like this import pandas as pd so here pd is a variable name and you can put as any name you want so similarly to import uh, numpy you need to put as np import numpy as np so this pd and np are uh, uh, standard variable values that that were used all over the books and internet so i just uh, following the same you can name it as anything you like so you may wonder why we are using numpy and pandas as we have uh, other data structures like uh, list dictionaries so to make it clear uh, pandas and numpy handle the data easily and they provide more functionality than the list and dictionary and uh, another advantage is uh, it is easy to manipulate the three dimensional data set or matrix so for example uh, to make our real world uh, scenarios let's say you have excel with 20 columns and 10000 rows it will be very difficult to open the excel sheet and just to delete a single column so those kind of tasks can be easily done using python you can just import the excel sheet and delete a single column and export it again to excel sheet so you can do it for hundreds of files within a, a 5 or 10 minutes but it will take a, a around 3 or 4 hours to do the same task in excel so let's move on what why why we have numpy and pandas as uh, why can't we can why can't we use just the pandas so to answer that numpy is uh, works efficiently with pandas so pandas likes numpy so first you will create an array using a numpy and you will make the array and convert it to a series using the pandas and again you can convert the same series to a data frame using pandas so let me show you practically so let's start with creating an array in numpy so to create an array let's call a variable like my array equal to np which is the variable name i have defined it there if you have any other different name you will need to put the same name which you have defined so now i will use a method called random dot rand of three so what i am trying to do is i am creating three random values so if you see my array it will have an array of three values so this particular task we can do it in uh, python default libraries as well like lists uh, but the problem is uh, you need to write at least three or four lines of code to get the same results so it's little easy and it's very clean why not uh, go for a easier library than using the default list so that's the idea behind the numpy so let us see how to convert this array to a list using pandas so now i will create a variable name as my series and i will use the pandas module to convert series i will use this uh, series method and i will give the array so if you see that uh, this my array is actually a numpy object so uh, this numpy object is working with the pandas object to create a series so if i see my series the difference between both this uh, numpy and pandas is in pandas you have you can see that there is an index created automatically 0 1 2 it will be very easy when you have a large amount of data uh, when we have an index associated with the data so now let's go on and see how to create a data frame again creating data frame is not a difficult task i will just need to define a variable data frame like before and i will use the pd dot data frame of my array so here uh, i have to give the f as capital 
so if i see my data frame now the extra additional thing which added here is the zero so it is uh, automatically naming the column as zero uh, which is missing in the series now you can easily extend this to two dimensional array let me show uh, you how to do that uh, i if you see here i have created only one dimensional array it's like three three random numbers i can create my array two dimensional equal to comma 2 so if you see my two dimensional array it has created two columns with three rows so again if you if i convert this to uh, you can convert this to either a data frame or you can convert it to a series so again you don't need to worry much about that this using the same method it will create the three di two dimensional data frame so you can see that it has automatically created a index as well as a column name for you so this is the basics of uh, uh, numpy and how the pandas interacts with numpy so i will try to make more videos on pandas and numpy to cover in depth of the uh, different methods available with the numpy and pandas which we use regularly and how you can make your life easier using these two libraries thanks for watching this video